All right, yesterday I just so happened to be watching the NBA TV. I came in late last night looking for something to watch on YouTube TV or pay for it. Don't utilize it as much as possible, but I'm checking it out. And they have this thing about getting to know the draftees because pretty much Lord knows I don't know none of them but the white boy from Tennessee for real. Um, and that's who I wanted. But then I started, like, I see this kid, Cody Williams, right? And I heard the Pistons were linked to Cody Williams. And I see this kid, Cody Williams, and I see the profile on him. He's like, well, I'm Jalen Williams' brother. You know, even though we got two different body types. And he started talking about his game. And I looked a little bit at his tape before this, before this because I heard the Pistons was linked to him. And he said, yeah, you know, I don't want to defend like Jay McDaniels. That's why I watch defensively and offensively. I think, you know, my game compares to uh, Kevin Durant and um, – um, Brandon Ingram is kind of like, uh, you know, I started looking and, you know, damn, why didn't hear about this kid? Went to Colorado. Uh, he was the number seven player in the nation. And they said he had a wrist injury. So he missed a lot of the year. But he came back for the for the tournament, okay? So he came back for the tournament. I watched some of his family in the tournament. You know, the wrist is probably a concern. Um, you know, I hurt my wrist many years ago. Not seriously, but, but, um, but man, he, you know, he looked good defensively. Long, lanky guy can shoot the ball. Even after the wrist injury, he looked comfortable shooting the ball. Um, defensively, he take pride defensively. You know, seemed like he can kind of put it on the ground a little bit. Got to grow into his frame. And you know, about you know, talk about Paul George, a six eight, six nine type of guard. And, and, and to me, it's him. Now, I'm ignorant to a lot of them other guys. I like the kid from Tennessee too. I like him. Um, shoot it, and he got grit. He's a gritty guy. You know, play with that fire. You know, you need guys like that. K got that fire. You know, you know. Um, but that that Cody Williams kid, yeah, that's the guy I want. Pause. You know, defensive potential. He can shoot it. I seen him get to the cup and finish at the rim. He got a floater. He got you know the handle was nice. That's who you want. Even if somehow you do acquire a Brandon Ingram, and hey, you can figure out how to make that work, because he can play the two. Especially until he grow into his man body, he can he can play the two. He can play the two. So and really that's what he categorized himself as a two. But once he fill in, and, and all that shit is you know the small forward is the new two guard, the power forward is the new small forward, and the center is the new power forward. That's just what it is. Really, it ain't no point guard. All the guards the same. You know, one one thing I say was funny was the St. Joseph backcourt of Delonte West and Jameer, Jameer Nelson was ahead of their time. And um, the trio of Alan Ray, Randy Foy, and Kyle Lowry and Villanova was ahead of their time. That's basketball right now. The backcourt is two combo guards, two guys, two guys that know what, you know, they both like to score the basketball. Nobody's a pure point guard. And now, you know, in the NBA, now you got three, you know, three guards. That's what you got. You got three guards now. That's pretty much, you got three guards, two small fours, and a lot of situations you got a power forward playing the center. That's what it is. You know, that's just what it is, man. And that's that's just, that's the game. So you got three guards, <laughs> you know, two small forwards. And in a lot of situations you got a power forward. Even the guys that we categorize as centers, true centers like Joel and Jokic, they really play like power forwards. They play like KG used to play back in the day. You know, so that's just what it is, man, and that's just where we're going at. Well, that's where the game is at, and those backcourts, you know, they were ahead of their time, man. But Cody Williams, man, that's what you want. And they maybe can acquire another pick and get the kid from Tennessee if they want. But Cody Williams, the game is smooth as a baby's ass, fresh out the womb. I looked, I said, oh, he defend, he lanky, you know, he got to grow into his. But his brother is a little bit more sturdier built. But two different body types. You know, shoot the ball well. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I think, hey, that's exactly what they miss. Exactly what they miss. You know, physically, you know, they got And I like what Tarzan said in the press conference. He said, man, these guys got to get in the weight room, too. It ain't just the work. And at the end of the day, this would, you know, remember back in the day, you know, some guys used to hit Goop and Keith Afflin in Persia. You know? You know, he, they wanted to hoop some guys that keep Applin and Pershing. And they used to run and hide when it was time to lift weights. He used to go do everything. 
As a basketball player, that's why a lot of y'all is getting injured and y'all weak. You gotta lift the weights. I'm not letting you get in front of me at this light. Sorry, Bobo. You gotta lift weights. You gotta lift weights. That's what protects the ligaments and the bones. And it makes your bones stronger. So. Oh. I'll be praying for people, bro. Like, some of these brothers ain't got a chance in hell. This dude got tattoos all over his face. But no license plate on his, on his car. Dog, <laughs> no, you can't make this shit up. But uh, sometimes we do it to ourselves, man. But, um. But yeah, man, yeah, Cody Williams is, is, is it. He it. He it. Smooth. And just, can you put the work in in the, in the, in the weight room? And a problem, and a problem with the weight room for guys, the basketball guys, is they burn so much calories because they're, they're, they're running intervals. I was watching, uh, I think John Wall was training many years ago, and his, his personal trainer was talking about that's it's kind of hard for basketball players to put on weight. Even though you see Shaq and, and Zion put on so much weight, a lot of that, you know, is genetic. So, you know, some people can put on weight easy. You know, some people can put on weight, some people just put on weight easy. Some people can just burn it off easy. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to know your body type and you know, your body structure and all that. But, and, but when you got normal people or skinny people or whatever, normal people, and you start burning a lot of calories, Intervals, you burn more calories. You know, walking and running, walking and running, especially if you walk in heels and then you walk and walk in heels and walking, walking heels and running, running heels and running. When you are jogging and all that, once you kind of go up, then you continue to burn calories really when you stop. So basketball players, they burn so much calories, so it's hard to put the weight on, on those guys. You know, it's hard to put the weight and then maintain the condition. That's a whole rooster. Inkster, y'all niggas got roosters. So it's, it's just, it's difficult, you know? Especially for a guy, his body type, or whatever. But it's, it can do, you can, it can be done. It can be done. Just lift it, you know, gotta lift. And most of y'all brothers that 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 that, that say, you know, you lose weight, y'all just think y'all do cardio. You gotta lift weights too. You gotta lift heavy. Whatever your definition of heavy is, that's what you gotta lift. But, um, but, but, yeah, Cody wins, man. Smooth game. Get to a spot. Pull up. Floaters. And I, I just found it interesting. I just, you know, I seen all the pisses interested in him. And, you know, I started looking. I looked a little bit of his tape, and I got I had to get back to work. <laughs> and then I looked at uh, last night. I'm like, oh, I ain't doing shit. I'm laying in the bed. Long night and shit. You know how the game go. Um, I said, damn, this nigga, he's nice. Even this tournament run off the bench, nice. I said, yo, that's what I'm rolling with. And I like the white boy from uh, Tennessee. If I can get both of them, shit, I'll figure it out. You know? Yeah, if I can get both of them, I will figure it out. Even I was tripping while I seen some, some smoke come out of my car, <laughs> come out of my vent. I was like, what the hell? Looking and said, my shit reheating. Oh, reheating. Oh, my. I'm right by my daddy for you, so. But, no. Uh, AC blowing. But, um. I just roll stock. But, yeah. Oh, buddy, nice, bro. Oh, buddy, nice. Oh, buddy, nice. So, yeah, man. Shit, that's what I'll be looking at. But, the one from Tennessee, yeah. I like him. We greedy. I like a cocky motherfucker who talk shit and rub it in your face. Regardless what they look like. I like a guy like that. that you need guys like it can't kind of got that fire in them. You know what I'm saying? You need guys like that. That's gonna pop shit. That's why I was trying to tell Lion fans. You need guys like uh, uh Kirby Joseph and you need guys like J Mo. You need a balance. You need a couple bad guys. You need a balance. You can't have all fire boys. Who's gonna turn them up? You know, and you know, as a as a as a as a as a person, you should all have a balance as well too, bro. I feel like as a man, you should have a balance. Sometimes you gotta be that. Sometimes you gotta be arrogant. Sometimes you gotta. Most of the times, I'm humble. And in my head, I'm the shit. I don't wanna say it, but in my head, I'm the shit. 
crazy, right? My head, I'm, I'm the shit, especially when I'm working out. Like, you know, I'm like, these niggas can't really fuck with me, dog. Like, but I, I think, you know, oh man, y'all so strong, y'all the shit, man. I can lift with y'all. That's just my psychological edge, and sometimes you gotta be arrogant, man. And unfortunately, women eat that up for y'all young fellas out there. You gotta believe in yourself. You know? You know, they tell you they don't love arrogance, they love it. They love confidence. So, you know, that's what it is, man. But, uh, I'll tell you, I'm say, don't tell me I drove here and these bitches left. I'd be mad. But I appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all girls and guys need. Check out your Detroit Pitching Talk playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me everywhere. Peace.